Hello everyone, I'm Joshua, and I'm Ava, I'm Amanda, I'm Jay, and I'm Josh too. What do you want? It's time, girlfriend. Scream 2. Rated R. Scream 2 stars David Arquette, Nev Campbell, Courtney Cox, Sarah Michelle Gellar, and it's directed by Wes Craven. The plot to Scream 2 is that away at college, Sydney Prescott, that little bitch that always gets away from me, why does she always get away from me, thought she could finally put the shocking murders that I, Ghostface, has started, that shattered her life behind her, until copycat killer begins acting out a real life sequel. Now its history repeats itself. Ambitious reporter Gail Weathers and Deputy Dewey Riley and other Scream survivors find themselves trapped in a terrifying, clever plotline where no one's safe or beyond suspicion. Unless if you're the fucking main characters, and apparently that means you're not the killer and you survive at the end. What the fuck else did you thought was going to happen with that? But, I digress. What are my positives with Scream 2? Honestly, for me, if I had to pick some, uh, man, that is a good question. What are my positives with Scream 2? Uh, there are some clever ideas, I must admit. There are some clever ideas. The humor is, eh, the humor is, eh, so-so. The acting's still good. I still, I still think, you know, Nev Campbell, Courtney Cox, David Arquette are still really good in their roles, admittedly, even though I want to kill them son of bitches. You know? It's like, when am I going to get my turn to kill them, huh? I mean, spoiler alerts, it's not that big of a spoiler alert, because there's four damn movies in this franchise. Like... They haven't died yet. None of the three big ones have never died. The... Okay, spoiler alert here. The only one who ever fucking died was Randy. And that was it. Just that one little punk ass bitch died and none of the main cast did. And I must admit, the end sequence is actually pretty entertaining. It is actually, you know... Oh, I will say, the only real suspenseful moment in this film that legitimately got me, like, ooh, to the point where I actually started to somewhat care for these sons of bitches, was the scene in which they were trying... Like, after I drive through and got... Like, they were in the backseat with a cop car and that, and after I was driving and all that stuff... It was like, and I was knocked out unconscious, like this. And they had to go around me so that they could escape. That was a really well done suspenseful moment. Like, literally the tension was so high in that. In fact, honestly, that probably was the best scene in the movie for me. What are my negatives with Scream 2? Honestly, for me... It is just a very generic horror movie. At least with the first one, it was the first time they ever attempted this stuff. And they worked it into where it was really smart and intelligent. This one, not so much. Like, it's all stuff we've seen before with the last film. So there's not much of a surprise there. They don't even try to attempt to really make fun of sequels that much. Hell, I think they still try to make fun of the original movies. Hence, one of the 
main killers. Hello. I mean, okay, spoiler alert if you haven't seen Scream 2. One of the main killer, killers, one of the main killers in this movie is Billy Loomis's mother. And it's almost like they're trying to make fun of sequels, but it, it seems like most of them are trying to make fun of original films. Like the original Friday for Team, again, hello, Mrs. Voorhees. So yeah, I think they forgot to actually making fun of horror movie sequels in this damn horror movie sequel that's trying to parody horror movie sequels in a sense. Hello? Are you awake, people? Like, are you awake, people who made this movie? Seriously, are you? This movie is so predictable, honestly. Like, seriously. I, I could tell who were the killers, or killer, you know, right from when they popped up on screen. It was like, yeah, and even though I've seen Scream 2, if I were to take out the equation that I've seen Scream 2, I would have guessed it a mile away. In fact, that's what I was thinking when I was watching this movie. And even then, they don't do anything that really interesting with these new killers. Really, all it is is just Scream 1 all over again. It's, you know, Stu Micker and Billy Loomis all over again. Also, the opening scene is probably my least favorite opening scene of this franchise. Basically, you got annoying as Jada Pickett Smith, I think is her name. Like, honestly seems to have some sort of deep-seated racism, I guess. I don't know. Maybe that's why I killed her in the movie. And just the characters were obnoxious in the opening. The opening wasn't really that interesting, other than the fact it takes place in a movie theater. So, I guess that was kind of neat. Also, the music was pretty forgettable this time around. I can't remember a single score from this movie. Not whatsoever. And even the ones I do remember, it's just re like, it's almost like they took the CD from the original Scream and just replayed it over here. That's what it looked, like, seemed like to me. Also, even though I think the main actors did a really good job in their roles, their characters weren't as developed as they were in the first film. Like, seriously, I don't think, like, they really go through the same motions from the first movie. None of their characters have evolved from the first movie. When you do a sequel with their main fucking characters, you need to have them evolve and grow and change. And we didn't got that with this one. Not at all. And I'm like... So that's it. I'm going to give Scream 2 a 2.5 out of 5 stars. Honestly, for me, there are some interesting things about this movie, I must admit. But for the most part, it doesn't do anything new or, you know, anything good even. It doesn't even do anything good that, you know, the first film did with it. And this is a movie that just simply frustrated me. It really did. I wanted to see all the characters die. Every single one of them bastards. So that's it for this review. Thank you guys for watching. And before we go, there is one surprise left. You've been wanting to know who the fuck I am. Yeah, you've been wanting to know, right? Come on. We, you want to know. So, here's a little surprise. It's me. It's been me the whole time. Yeah, I know. What a shock. It's been me. It's been me. Behind the mask. The whole time. What a shock.